Hey, what's up guys? So this video is going to be on um, hand gesture detection with convolutional neural networks. So I've taught this, uh, it's actually the same, almost the same neural network as my self-driving car one. Uh, the same size, it's just a few things changed, which I'll go over. But right now, so this neural network can detect up to uh, nine different types of hand gestures, including none. So what you're seeing right now is none because my hand is not in the, on the camera right now. So uh, I'm going to go over all nine different types of hand gestures. So this is the acknowledgement sign. Um, so and this is the fist uh, curled up and then this is the hand. Uh, interestingly, the closer I bring it to the camera, the less short it becomes. So it really has to be able to see the hand to be able to go. Oh, I'm definitely seeing the hand. Um, one. Uh, that doorknob at the bottom is also showing up in the image sometimes. That's why you see these fluctuations. Uh, straight. Uh, let's see. Palm, which is exactly like straight, but towards the camera. Thumbs up. Thumbs up is the worst, uh, I feel like. Um, the closer I bring it, the worse the detection gets really quickly. Even though, I mean, technically bringing it closer should be increasing the chance, but interesting. Uh, none. There's nothing there. And swing. Not sure what this hand sign is, but it looks cool. If I bring my fingers closer, thinks that it's a fist, which makes sense because it's like curling up. Yeah, those are the nine different types of hand gestures that um, it can detect right now. I'm not completely sure what the application of this is going to be. But what I've done is actually changed it so that I can control this mouse here with my hand gestures. So I can do different things like move components around, open a paint or whatever. So I'll, I'll show an example of that right now. So I'm going to make mouse control mode equal to true. It's saved. Now I'll run it. So a few things. Acknowledgement and fist actually moves the mouse. So fist is fast movement. So the mouse moves like fast. I can move it anywhere I want. And whereas uh, acknowledgement is fine control. So it's moving very slowly, so which gives me fine control. So actually let's open up let's open up this video over here at the top. One of my earlier trials at trying to get it to work. So one is to click once. See it actually clicked it. And to do a double click it's swing. Um it's not doing it. Interesting, it's not doing the double click. So we can see that the gesture is being correctly detected since it's printing out a double click, which is right here. But the issue is that I forgot to copy this twice. So it's going to do a click once, and then it should do a click right away right after that. So if I go to the click method, you can see that I'm using the robot library. So the robot library in Java allows uh, me to control the mouse. Um, and the keyboard through um, the code. So let's try to open that video again. Down. Oh, find control movement. So it's, it's really hard to uh, move the mouse this way. Now one click. So it doesn't open it. Swing. Opens it. So it's only going to do a double click once while my hand is um, in swing mode. Otherwise, you know, if I keep, if you keep double clicking the same thing over and over again, it's like a million of them open. So that was my free previous version you're seeing over there. I didn't like it, so I switched over to this one. So that one was actually using an RBG method, whereas this um, is using HSB to detect skin color. So if I was to go up and close it down, one click. Closed. So now I'm going to show what the training data looks like. So each gesture has two folders of data. So the acknowledgement, uh, each folder has 500 images. So there's four, uh, 500 images in here. Um, and each um, data set is followed by a raw data txt file. Of So you can see this first line is corresponds to the first image up here. The 0.png and since this is an acknowledgement it's one so it's 100% 
this image here is an acknowledgement symbol, which corresponds to this here, um, where acknowledgement is the first position and swing is the last. So if I open up the swing folder and go down to raw data.txt, it will be at the last position, the one. Well, so hopefully that makes sense. So if you're thinking that since this entire folder contains swing, shouldn't there just be one line instead of uh, 500 that just says, you know, this this is a swing, this folder contains swing, and you'll be right. So the way I wrote the data loading for Python, each image requires a corresponding uh, line in the raw data.txt file. So um, I'll be making that change later, but you'll be right if you're thinking that. So I think I'm going to show now how I actually collect the data for it. So first thing I'm going to do is actually uh, change mouse control mode to false and change data collection mode to true. And so suppose I want to add a new um, gesture. So I want to add the peace symbol. That's with the, you know, where your two fingers are up, um, your middle finger and your uh, pointing finger. So I want to make the peace symbol. So I add that to the gesture type array. Um, so the gesture index that I want to get data for is 9, the index at 9, which would be this. Um, since the, the size of this gesture type is now 10, so I want to get the data for the ninth index, which is piece. Now I can run it. Now I'm going to be getting 500 images, so since that's what this number controls, the number of uh, images that I want to get. So I'm going to make the piece symbol, and then when I click here uh, in the window, it will start taking images. So you can see it's taking images. And I can move my hand forward, backwards, you know, rotate a little bit, you know, making it robust enough to be able to detect in different orientations. Um, the image that you see at the bottom, the black, uh, which is about 50 by 50 pixels, is what the neural network actually gets. So I'm gonna make it different ways, rotate a little bit, so it's done. And I stop this, and when I go to here, there it is, 500 images of me doing the peace symbol, and this will be it now at the last position. The problem now is that because I've trained a tenth gesture, and these gestures were trained for um, nine, what I'm going to have to do is go through all of these raw data.txt files of the previous gestures and put a zero at the end, right? Because now there's ten gestures, not not nine. So I actually have a program that does that. I just I give it any folder, um, any uh, raw data file that I want, and it'll just go through it and it'll just put a zero zero at the end for me. Uh, so another thing is when um, we create the uh, a new gesture type, the output actually has to increase too. So currently it's nine because there's nine gestures. So change that to ten. Obviously, since this is going to make a completely new uh, new neural network, the old weights actually have to be copied into this um, new neural network. So I'm going to show an example of what I actually mean. Uh, the neural network is going to be changed, right? So uh, since we're adding this um, new um, output node here, these um, the, the, the second last hidden layer needs to be able to connect to it. So there's going to be these new connections that are made. And what we have to make sure is that these new connections actually have a weight of zero. So what will actually mean this is a completely new um, connection. And so these connections will be trained over many iterations uh, with the new uh, with the new uh, piece symbol data set. So the old weights have to be copied into the new, uh, the new neural network in their previous positions. Hopefully that makes sense, which are these black lines here. And then the new connection will just be set to zero. Um, so you can see that the P symbol is 0%, and that's simply because, um, like I explained, those connections for it are set to 0. So it's uh, it's just 0 till um, it's it gets trained on. Once we train it on the, um, the P data set, um, it should be able to recognize the P symbol uh, fairly accurately. So if I explain what's actually happening here is the white and black image that you see is actually what um, is coded in with Java and what it's actually doing is detecting all the um, skin pixels and actually that's why I have to keep my sleeve up otherwise you can see then it can't really detect 
hand or whatever. So my sleeve has to stay up. And that's a problem. Obviously, I could have trained it with this, but then it would have been a little bit more difficult. But anyways, what it's actually doing is detecting the skin pixels. And um, all the skin pixels are turned white and all the non-skin pixels are black. Basically, that's what's happening here. And that image gets shortened down to 50 by 50 pixels. That's the smaller image at the bottom. And then that gets fed into the actual neural network. And it tries to detect with these uh, black and white pixels what it's looking at. So as you can see here, now I'm going to try to attempt to control. So this is Arma 3, um, a military sim. And I'm going to try to control uh, this car using um, hand gestures. And try to run over those targets over there. I'm gonna get in the car while they're running away. So I can actually control it with my fist. If I go up, it starts. I can control which way I wanna turn the car. And it's really difficult. But I can control it. Actually, I can control it fairly decently. Uh, I basically pretend like I'm holding a steering wheel. Oops. Let's avoid the rock. And when I pretend like I'm holding a steering wheel, I can actually just control the car like that. Oh, I got all of them. Sweet. And I think some of them might have escaped. Try to find them. No, I think I got all of them. Sweet. I can actually also go in reverse. So I bring my hand down and it starts going in reverse. So basically it just uses the positional uh, of where it's seeing the fist in the camera. And it's using that positional information to um, press the key buttons. Uh, press the A or W S or D buttons. I keep crashing into that. All right, let's go for it. Perfect. There you go. That's pretty cool. Now I don't, I don't have to drive. I can just drive like this. Now I'm going to show what these filters are actually visualizing. Um, so these are some of the things. So the red area is essentially area with high activation and sort of the grayish areas is areas with low activation. I'm really not sure how this ends up detecting the hand because I would expect some of these filters to look for sort of contour lines. So this is from the last um, convolutional layer. The last convolutional layer has 32 filters, um, and th this is what they find important, essentially. Apparently, filter 27 um, has no activation for any of these gestures. Nothing. It's, it's literally doing nothing. I don't know why. So anyways, thanks for watching, and... Um, I guess for Elsys, I'm actually going to start working on that. For version 2 of that, I'm actually starting to work on that now. And I think I'll probably make an update video for that. And um, so version 2 will definitely be coming out in a few weeks. But yeah, anyways, um, thanks for watching and 
Bye.